Hi, it's Patrick Hubsell from intensivecarehotline.com with another quick tip for families in intensive care. So my tip today is about medical records in intensive care. Many families come to us and they have all these questions around their loved one's condition and what does this mean and what does that mean and what treatment should they be having and so forth and the list goes on. Now my next question then is do you have access to the medical records and most families say no to that question. So first thing you need to do when you have a loved one in intensive care is getting access to the medical records so you can verify that what the intensive care team is telling you is actually also documented um, in the medical notes. I've made countless videos in the past where I've been saying that intensive care teams only tell you half of the story and that is certainly true and uh, we can help you decipher this quote-unquote secret language by helping you looking at medical records, interpreting what everything means. If you have a loved one in intensive care, it is really like a puzzle piecing together uh, um, small pieces to then eventually create the big picture. The biggest challenge for families in intensive care is that they don't know what they don't know. They don't know what to look for. They don't know what questions to ask. They don't know their rights and they don't know how to manage doctors and nurses in intensive care. And that's what we can help you with here at intensivecarehotline.com. How do you get access to medical records in this day and age? A link to a website with a username and a password, that's all it often takes. In this day and age, most hospital uh, records are electronic. Sometimes there is still paper based and they have to copy and, you know, scan. And sometimes it can take a little while but most of the uh, medical records in 2022 are online and you can access them with the username and a password. You just need to ask for it from the hospital. And do me a favor, ask with a deadline because otherwise they will just keep dragging it out. And if they keep dragging it out, you should ask the question, what do they have to hide? That is my quick tip for today. If you have a loved one in intensive care, Go to our website, intensivecarehotline.com. Call us on one of the numbers on the top of our website um, or send us an email to support at intensivecarehotline.com. Like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, comment below what you want to see next or what questions or insights you have from this video and click the notification bell. This is Patrick Hutzel from intensivecarehotline.com and I will talk to you in a few days.